So what's up YouTube, it's the Night Sun here, back with another video. Uh, so this is really going to be about semen retention and psychic development. So, um, this is really just me creating like a challenge for myself because you know you always got to challenge yourself to really get to the next level for real. I'm not going to lie. Like, and I'm kind of like entering like this phase where I'm like, I'm, I'm distancing myself from like everybody. You know? I'm distancing myself from like the outside world like, and I guess I'm, finally like really taking that step into like really you know answering like destiny's call and i'm like i can't be half stepping in this so right now i'm kind of in the process of picking back up like semen retention like i like i've done semen retention before and like i said I, I was doing it like i was doing it the commercial way right where everybody see like oh you know you you know you have standing you see the benefits and it's like it's not a very transformative way of doing it. It's a very egotistical way of doing it. And I think that's what a lot of people be doing it for is egotistical reasons. Like when I was doing it, I was just saying, you know, how magnetic I became and how like my how, you know, strong my aura was feeling. Like it's been times like when I was doing it, like I even like a month, like when I'm on a month it feels like I feel energetically, but it's also like I feel like I can't be around people like I don't like being in like crowds or people. I just feel like my aura be like just pushing up against everybody's, and even like a sensitive uh, person I came across, they was like, "Yeah, I can feel your aura from across the room." I'm like, "Damn, I didn't think I was that." You know, my aura was like that, but you know, but I I I, I try to do exercise as much as I can with it. But you know, that's on top of semen retention where you know you're cultivating that energy. But you know, um, yeah, I was just doing it for that reason. I feel like that's what most a lot of people do. Like, people don't actually do the actual, like, inner work to really, you know, cultivate that, you know, that, that sexual energy and try to move it up your energy system for, like, evolving or, like, you know, trying to reach enlightenment. They don't do it for that reason. It's come almost like they use their energy, you know, to, for material reason. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I think that, to a certain extent, people are just using it for, like, the, 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 the material benefits in the sense of like female attraction or woman attraction. They're not using it to like create their desired reality or get out of any type of messed up situation that they may be inside of. They're doing it for petty reasons. They're doing it for, for, for fickle reasons. And I think that part bothers me to a certain extent because people have a responsibility to people that view them, the people that watch them, and they shouldn't be trying to push something on the people that, you know, when I say push something on people, but you know, so somebody the incorrect way to how to do something. It's, it's almost like misinformation. So essentially, I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is show my journey with it, you know. Uh, and I'm really gonna do it through the journey of these two books. I'm gonna really be reading for real and really practicing like vigorously, like for real, for real. These two right here, Cyclomancy and then Healing Light of the Dial. Right, uh, Cyclomancy. That's just for the psychic development part. Like I ain't. I got like. I just recently, like I said, I go to the bookstore. It's, t it's crazy. I can't be in there for too long because I ain't gonna lie. I buy the whole store if I really and waste all my money. But you know, but these two books, when I seen that, I had to get it. I bought that's a real book. You ain't gonna find that anywhere, you know. But uh, and it's been out of print. So, um, yeah. And then Hell and Light of the Dow. Uh, that just that book is just gonna help me with cultivating energy, but also helping me with my healing abilities as well. And being able to feel it's almost, I think it's key gone, chi gone, but you know, that's that's my main reason. It's just I just want to cultivate the energy and and move it up my chakra system and just up my energy center, just to help me evolve. And I think that's really what my main goal is. My main goal is to really, if I'm being egotistical, I really just want to be untouchable. I'm not gonna lie. I know it's it's and it's it's so egotistical because even when you think about it, it's like, why do you want to be untouchable? Because you want to be untouchable to like the regular individual, not even with people that's in the same field as you. But that's, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. That's how I feel. That's how my ego feels is that I just want to be untouchable. I want to be the God among the men. Like that's really what is kind of pushing me towards it. If I'm being in my ego and allowing my ego to really take over. But a lot of this type of information is, and then it's another part of me that's like the freedom that comes with it. It's like, it's it's the God self that comes with it. It's it's the higher self that's more in tune with you that comes with it. It's almost like you feel like Neo in the Matrix when you can see the fabrics, of, you know, of the Matrix, and you're not so, you know, 
you're not so, let's say, ingrained in reality, or not even ingrained, like you're not present inside reality to a certain extent. You know, you can look at things from a bird's eye view and not be so affected by it. Like that's kind of what this type of stuff is like pulling me out of, you know, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to allow me to elevate and really just really take my life to the next level. Like, for example, like, people that be on, like, semen retention for, like, long periods of time, it's, it's, to a certain extent, it is, it's like a shortcut. It's a shortcut to success. It's like, it's, the longer you do it, it's like, it's, like, let's say, for example, they say something that may take somebody 12 years to do, it may take you five years, you know, and that's just because of the sexual energy and, just the, it's almost like you sacrifice, and it's like the more you sacrifice, you know, the more that you can get. I don't know if that's a real law of the universe, how they say, like, the, the law of equivalent exchange. I got the full at Metal Alchemist, but I think it still rings strong reality. The more that you give up, the more that you can, that God can send you and you can receive. So, then that's kind of, like, where I'm trying to get at, like, you know, just about building my energy. And, of course, you know, it's not bad, like, you know, to always, you know, hold it in. My bad. I'm about to go on a whole different point. That's not the point. The point is, that's what I'm doing. I just want to take y'all along on the journey and so y'all can really be in on game. And y'all can, hey, if y'all can join in on the challenge as well, for real. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to, I'm not going to be tracking it every day, but probably like once a week, twice a week, for real. Like a part of my, uh, uh, like a part of my little spiritual odyssey for real. But uh, other than that, man, I thank y'all for watching the video. Like I said, just comment, like, subscribe for real. Uh, just stay tuned. So if y'all have a good day, hope y'all have a good day.